Hello everybody and welcome. This is Froggles and this is our second episode for the uh, drawing. Um, we're going to be drawing a tree frog. Now the materials you're going to need are a pencil, a sharpie, a green marker, a red marker, a blue marker, and a pink marker. Now you always want to start with the eyes. So I already drew them but draw two circles next to each other like this and uh, once uh, you have that done then you can pause the video if you want but then next you draw a little lump like a little um, lump to the eye and kind of use this as the um, uh, forehead bit kind of and connect them with another lump to the eye uh, next you draw a little eyelash um, right now it looks like an eyelash but later it should um, come out different then you draw another eyelash and that'll uh, eventually be the body of the frog and then you draw this big, big oval shape. This will eventually be the leg of the frog, but for now it just looks like a big lump, to be honest. But yeah, I'll give you a time to finish that. After we're done with that, then you draw a line down the uh, side of the frog, kind of where we drew the lump, and it'll look like um, nothing for now, but it's supposed to be one of the legs later on. But as you can see, um, we're going to move on to the mouth of the frog. So draw it down. Make it look like a little smiley face, kind of. Um, little miniature oval. Do not complete it. Just draw it right about to there. Then stop. And then go down. And then this will be the, the smiley face of the frog. Whatever you want to call it. But I call it smiley face because why not? Uh, draw it. Connect it with the uh, end of the oval. And um, that is the mouth, pretty much. Give him a little uh, dimple if you want. And yeah, that's the mouth. And yeah, this will be um, one of the biggest lines. It's the belly of the frog. So draw it uh, there, stop, make another little um, thing. And then you just pretty much just draw it down the rest of the body of the frog, all the way down and about a couple centimeters away from the leg of the frog you just did, or a couple millimeters, and then stop there. And then you draw the rest of that leg we did earlier. And that'll be the first leg of the frog as you can start to uh, make out there. But after that, you draw a little thing right there that'll be uh, colored in blue later on um, when we're coloring the frog. Uh, but after that, yeah, draw it, connect it like that. That'll be um, separating the toes of the frog to the actual like leg of the frog. Then we move on to the other leg. This is on like the other side of the belly. So we're only gonna draw a little bit of it to make it uh, stand out, make it look better. So you draw the leg like that, and then we start to draw the toes. Um, try to make them as circular as you can on the tips. Uh, I'm honestly not that good at it, but I know you guys have stencils and stuff to use. So use whatever um, resources you can to make the toes as circular as you can. Kind of like what I did with the eyes. I used a stencil um, before the video started. So yeah, you just connect the toes and you should have like three toes and make them as circular as you can. Yeah, I need to erase because I messed up a little bit. But I'll give you time to finish that right now. Okay, so draw a little uh, thing right there that'll be colored in blue later. And then we draw uh, the third leg of the frog. That'll be um, the smallest leg. Um, draw the toe, once again, try to make them very circular. Um, and then connect it to the belly of the frog, just like that. And do the same with the other toe. Just kind of draw it as circular as you can, connect it to the toe a little bit, and connect it to the belly. Uh, all right, now we move on to the next toe. And yeah, once again, make it as circular as you can. I know I keep saying this, guys, but trust me, it's a very important factor if you want to make this a very detailed and very professional drawing. Just try to make the toes the toes especially, very, very, very circular. So yeah, you draw the next one, and then draw the line up, and then back down for the third toe. And also, I've been noticing my past few videos have been very blurry, and I hope this one isn't, but just let me know if you know how to fix the blurry videos, because I honestly don't know what I'm doing wrong. But anyway, move back on uh, to the frog, the uh, fourth leg, draw it out, up, and around like we did earlier. And go back, draw it out, up, and around once again. And once you're done with that, um, 
just feel free to pause it whenever because uh, if I'm going too fast for you guys you can just pause it um, after that you do the final toe of the uh, final uh, foot of the frog and once you're done with that um, all the hard stuff is done so yeah bring it around and connect it to what you just did and you're done with all the toes for the frog good job now make any changes you need to make obviously I made a mistake right there so I'm gonna fix that and in yeah all right, next, you need to draw where you kind of follow your line what you did earlier. Draw up and around. That'll make it look like the frog's leg is bending. This will be colored in blue in a little bit. But after you do that, you do a little connecting um, piece again. Remember, that petal will be colored in blue later. But now you're um, pretty much done. Um, now you need to draw the tongue the tongue for the mouth of the frog. If you want to make him happy, you don't have to do it. But I always want a tongue for the frog. Okay, um, next you want to draw a pupil for the um, frog's eye so it doesn't look creepy. Kind of like that. That'll be colored in later, uh, black. But try to make it as circular as you can. There it is again, circular. But yeah, that's uh, really important. So next, you um, get your green marker and just color the whole thing in green, pretty much the whole thing. I'm gonna skip ahead so you know what to color right now. Okay, pause the video and color it in. And now get your blue marker. And this is, um, we're gonna start coloring in the legs blue. Now color there, there, and there, blue. I'm gonna skip ahead in the video so you know what to color right now. All right, you should have colored that in uh, blue. Next, um, you need to go and get out your pink marker and you're going to color in the tongue. Pretty much just color in the tongue. I had a bad marker. Um, didn't really work, but whatever. Next, get out your red marker and color in all the little, um, all, every uh, part of the feet, just like that. I'll give you time to color that in. Also, color in the uh, eyes and there. Once it's done, it should look like that. Now, we move on to um, get out your Sharpie, your uh, Sharpie from earlier, and just trace over pretty much every little bit of the frog. You don't, you do not have to do this if you do not want to, but I honestly like to do it because it makes it look better. So yeah, I'm gonna skip ahead in the video right here. You can pause it if you want, and boo. All right, now you should have had it all colored in by now. Next, once you're done, make um, any changes you need to and color in the mouth. Color it all in around the tongue where you drew earlier, and yeah. Don't forget the pupils of the eyes as well. And once you're done with that, you are done with the whole frog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it, um, whatever you're gonna use it for. Thank you so much, and have a nice day. Bye.